what we actually did. Oh, no, no. Well, where will you head next? Lena's word drew me away from my obscure thoughts. We've been standing at the square for some time, and my speculations about Bug's life were only an attempt to escape this awkward situation. We can go back to my place. Though, why did I see it as awkward? Just don't forget, all right? Don't forget what? Well, tonight, after, after dinner, that, that, that the, the informant, she's actually staring straight at me for once. Her face got slightly grumpy Look into it. No way, that's impossible. All right, all right, all right. I'll, right after dinner, I'm at your service. I thought too late, and my words, <laughs> words Lena blushed even harder. I need to find a way to ease the situation. Say, <laughs> I try to think of, do you have Windex in your pants? Or no, do you have a mirror in your pants? Because I see myself in them. Anyways, why do you? Why did the nurse ask you to do it? I, I, I don't know. I was just get sitting on a table at a bench reading a book when she came in. It's smarter to ask a reliable person who would never say no. Okay. Well then, after dinner. Okay. I'll be off then. Yeah, sure. I watch her go as we see the statue of Gendo, Gendo Ikari in the background. She walked away beside the clubs and stood in the square for some time. So, what's next? I decided to visit my cabin in order to collect my phone. You have a phone? I don't know where I find myself today, but having a watch is always useful. Though, having a wristwatch would be much easier. Yeah, you actually have a... F How are you charging your phone? Do they have power here? I think they do. They have a fridge. Anyways, suddenly, I heard a different tune. A different background music. <laughs> uh, which was cutting through the usual noise of the camp. I listened to it carefully. Sounds like an electric guitar. Three repeating chords. No more. It, it Was it the Ramones then? But this melody still felt somewhat warm, as if the vacuum tube-based audio amplifier was used. Could it be such a luxury here? The sound was definitely coming from somewhere near the stage area. I wonder who it could be. Who else? Uh, go take a look, yeah. Hmm. Gonna rock out the Soviet construct. Woo! Anyways. Uh, coming to the stage area, I saw, Al yeah, Alisa. There we go. Nice arbitrary panty shot. Da, 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 panty, ma, ma. The girl was giving it all. Her eyes were closed. She placed one of her legs on a, upon a speaker by with the rhythm. I couldn't re recognize the melody, but I was sure that I heard it before. Probably something about from Soviet rock. I could have n named a dozen bands in the jo genre right off the bat, but I was hardly an expert. The song seemed really simple, literally just three chord progression. Then again, most rock songs are. Probably even I could have played it if given some time to practice. I wonder where Alice got her playing skills at. In the USSR, such music had never been naturally acclaimed. The future rock stars weren't even talking, uh, uh, weren't, wasn't taking any notice of, from, of them. Excuse me. Ah, done whiskey and what I had for lunch. Anyways, uh, something, yeah, lunch is, in, or dinner's not agreeing with me. Look, a little, break it down. So you want your capitalist states, go away, we're Soviet Union. Ah, I can't rap that. Anyways, <laughs> it wasn't like she was trying to become one of the mus uh, one with the music tours on. Resound in every note, in every bar, in every triplet. Again, why does my mouse keep popping up? Rock heroes of the 80s instantly came to mind. Many of them devoted to the musician in a similar way. If she got dressed in something more suitable for the period's fashion instead of her pioneer uniform, no one would have noticed the difference. Her performance was coming to an end. Picking out the last couple chords, Elise finally noticed me. Did you like it? She didn't seem at all surprised as I would have expected. Yeah, that was cool. As if you could have done any better. Smiled slyly. I'm not saying that I can do it better. I'm not a pro in music. No doubt. That was what the song was. It was, I'm just a girl. I'm just kidding. Yep. I didn't want to tell her that the next, uh, tell her next. 
and was heading uh, tell her what was wait a minute I didn't know what to tell her next okay and what was heading on a, on my way wait a minute what heard about the evening's dance party oh come on so wait a minute so I have something after lunch I have something after dinner is she going to try to get me for something after lunch I mean uh I thought it was a ball. Ball dance party, what's the difference? She frowned. Yes, yes, I did. And so what? Are you going to go? After throwing those words, she turned away. No, she's still looking at me. I'm not sure. And you? What am I going to do there? Watch a herd of morons? There was some truth in Alice's words. But... This open disrespect surprised me. It's clear that it's not the idea of balls that she hates. But why? What do you mean, why? Well, why don't you want to come? Dance parties ought to be fun, right? Do you really think so? Annoyance flashed in her voice. I don't know, but I thought that you would. Never liked them. She interrupted me. There's absolutely nothing to do at such parties. I see, I see. So, what's your plan then? I asked just to keep the conversation going. I'll just carry on practicing. What are you practicing? The song, you dumbass. You even heard it. Alice had gotten totally mad a few wrong questions, and I would have had to run for my life. Who wrote that song? I did. So, you wrote it by yourself? By myself. Uh, cool. An awkward silence hung in the air. Okay, then. Don't you want to listen? Didn't I just hear it? That's not what I meant. She pouted. Ah. The whole song. It's just a jam for now. Ah, come on. Do it, then. Not right now. Well, don't do it, then. I felt unclear about what she wanted from me. You mean you don't want me to play? Look at those puppy dog eyes. She frustrated. I got ready. Uh, I got ready for her to smash her guitar on my forehead, or something even worse. But there's only an upset expression on her face. I want. I told you. I want to. I told you. Come here tonight, then. I'll play it for you. For me? How cute. Tonight is the dance party. You said that you wouldn't go. I didn't say that. Frankly speaking, I don't want to go, but messing around with Da Vinci was no good either. Olga wouldn't like it. Screw her! I've been trying to! Oh wow, that's a new face. At least it got steamed up. Ah, uh, so tonight, what am I doing? I have the nurse and Lena, or I can come here. Oh, see, this is what I don't like about these choices. Life's too hard. I'll drink. Because if it's tonight. So if I come here, does that mean that's going to conflict with me doing stuff with Lena and the nurse? Because I don't want to really disappoint her either. And see, that's the problem. I'm too much of a, I don't want to upset anyone person. Oh, well, uh, no, I won't. I'm sorry. Screw off, not what I really want to introduce myself. She clunked and disappointed and turned away. I was just wondering if that decision I made was the right one when suddenly I was interrupted by the ringing bell for lunch. Yeah, great. Now I made an enemy of the mean girl. I turned around with the intent to call Eris to come along, but she looked so careless and down. Even musicians should know when it's time to leave. I grumbled under my breath. Ellipses. Who is marching forward in a row? It's our pioneer squad. Pioneers in a row usually march to the canteens in this camp. I was looking for a place where no one would disturb me like what happened before, just so I can eat in peace for once. And for that, I have to at least not be the last one to come. Usually you want to be the last one. Mm -hmm. But I was pretty sure whatever happened here happens whenever I want to want it to or not. The canteen was crammed as full as an egg. Ah. Olga was standing there at the entrance, guarding it like the hawk like a hawk. Well, Simon, 
Where were you? Uh, where were you? Um, hard enough. Mm, as I said, burping and trying to hide the taste of alcohol in my mouth. Well done. Truly well done. And the hardest is yet to come. I just bet. Fine. Take a seat next to the girls. She pointed at the table next to the pillar. Uh, Sylvia, uh, Olga, and Lena were already sitting there. Not bad company. At least, not the worst. I got my meal and went up next to them. Yeah, there, she, there they are. The three main ones. Do you mind if I sit here? I caught myself shouting a bit clues. There was no other free places anyways. No! A court, oh, wait. She had the Irish accent, didn't she? Ah, no. Oh, excuse me. Scottish? No, of course not. Please do. Nina remained silent. Today's meal consisted of a plate of uh, borsk. I suspect there was some kind of meat lurking in there, but I had no evidence. Some poultry. Chances are it was uh, chickenus domicitus with a fried potato and traditional green of cool pot. I found myself liking the local food more and more. Liking the local view a lot more, except for the middle one here. Nice t-shirt, though. I'm pretty sure you can still find the, those today. I guess I just came to the conclusion that I have no other choice, which means there's no other use in complaining. Thank God there's something to eat. She's smiling, though. That makes me nervous. Ah, coming to the ball tonight? I don't know. He'll come. He got nowhere to go. Ulsa said happily. You're, you will come for sure. Of course. I can't miss the opportunity to watch you make a fool of yourself. She got into it right and I decided not to reply. And what about you? I asked Lena. Yes. So I could have went to the rock star instead. Of Because apparently she's not going to the thing. So the ball's afterwards, maybe? I don't know. Oh, well. She replied briefly. See? Yes, you're gold then. Sylvia said as if leaving me mo no choice. Don't forget to wear your tailcoat. Apparently, Ulsa was so pleased with her joke, she started laughing aloud. But I really had nothing to wear. So I was just going to show up naked and hope for the best. My wardrobe was just a spider uniform, my winter clothes, which were inappropriate even in the evening. And uh, what will you be dressed in, entertainer? Secret. Well, it be a little dressed and just let, just like in a kindergarten matinee. Elsa turned red, looked like I managed to offend her. No, I'll be wearing a biohazard suit just so I don't catch an affection from you. I wonder what kind of affection you're afraid of catching from me. Well, uh, STDs usually. What? Enough, you guys. Don't quarrel. Idioxy, of course. <laughs> I see she's like uh, looks like Ulsa was highly pleased with her with her, as she thought brilliant answer again. You know, if you already have the flu, you can't catch a cold. Two can play at this game. What are you implying? She says as she gets ready to shiv me. Again, that look just looks like she, <laughs> like someone's about to get shivved essentially. Oh, nothing, nothing at all. I looked away slyly. Do you, uh, do you mean that? She went red again. I don't mean anything. Guys, given that it was Lena who interfered, it's probably really time to stop. You're asking for it. You're gonna get it. What? You finally wised up? And kupots all over my head. Uh, <laughs> instead of replying, she grabbed a plate full of borsk and tipped it over my head. The game met an unexpected finale. Oh, yeah, little. Simply jumped up and she jumped up and ran away. But this time I wasn't, I grabbed her by the hand and, well, are you trying to motorboat her? What are you doing there? Why is my mouse there again? Uh, now what? I just smashed her head against the table. The patterny lasted a few seconds. A patent mine? Excuse me. Suddenly, also skillfully grabbed a glass of kaputs and splashed it in my face. Then she managed to get free of my grip. She dashed off towards the counter as and I chased her. The resulting in flipping of tables, piles, smashed tableware, five pioneers crippled by various injuries and field exhaustion of both parties. A draw, sort of. 
a brilliant, a belligerent draw with two much belligerents who stood before each other and breathed heavily. Tell me you won't behave this way again. And you? Olga snuck, snuck up behind us. Were you thinking about it? When you think about it, such a riot, riot wouldn't go unnoticed. Were you all satisfied with yourself now? Her voice appeared to be calm, but sure, she was just about to explode. And who's going to clean up this mess? Exactly, exactly what happened. Who? I'm asking you, who? Him, replied Olga, or Olsa. I forget what I call her. Anyways, completely confidence. Her, I objected less confidently. Both. The camp leader uh, consecutive argument. Generally, I wasn't sure that my side was to blame more than hers. Although, Olsa didn't have any drop of guilt on her face. Beat it. Just beat it. Mm. Uh, excuse me. I was going to sing beat it, but my uh, whiskey decided to stop me. I'm not cleaning. Ain't nobody got time. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. This is his fault. He started it first. No, it isn't. Wow, we just, you sound like we're her age. Uh, yes, it is. I'm not going to sort out this nonsense. Simon, go grab a mop and bucket some cloth. You know, the kind of stuff in a closet. And as for you... She looked at Ulsa with a, such a burning glaze that I felt a bit sorry for the girl. You. I wish I could do like a effect, a deep effect. Hold on. You. I can't, uh, I can't really do any. Start picking up the broken tableware immediately. Olga took a deep breath and continued. You're nothing but trouble. How many times have I told you? I decided to skip the lecture and went to closet uh, near the exit. Suddenly, the perfect idea flashed in my head. Why don't I just run away? Like the 80s song that um, Elisa was playing. Sure, Olga has caught us already, but I'm not the one to blame. Of course, I'm not a true pioneer she keeps trying to uh, talking about, but in comparison to Olsa. Anyways, she's the main principal culprit. Culprit. Uh, I can read English. Maybe I just, maybe it's better. I'd do better if this was in uh, Russian. Mm. I should be drinking vodka instead, shouldn't I? Mm. Anyways, it's not like I have nothing better to do than cleaning up this mess. I have to seek answers. The truth is out there. Some, uh, somehow flashed in my mind. Uh, stay... Running away is hardly a good idea. For starters, Olka would have caught me already, and dashing off would only uh, aggravate my punishment. As well as that, I need indeed partially guilty. Of course, it was all her fault, though. But if I had retreated like that, probably she could have avoided the thrashing. Probably. All right, I'll be what's right. I opened the cabinet, took out the broom, mop, and dustpan. Olga was uh, wasn't anywhere near Olsa. The time I returned. She's gone? Can't you see for yourself, you dumbass? Also looked upset, and all her useful spirit vanished without a trace. Okay, hang on a second. I'll go wash myself for a bit. I shot her an angry glance and headed towards the exit. I washed the scraps of lunch off myself and returned to the canteen. Well, no escaping it. We have to clean it up. Oh, it's all because of you. Just a single glare from her gave me the creeps. Of course it is. It's me who's guilty of everything. It was me who's the local natural hazard. Oh, sh shut up. Still, it's kind of strange that she's not trying to avoid this cleanup duty. Olsa had a solid opportunity just to run away and leave me alone, but somehow she did not... Uh, she did not... She did the exact opposite. The delinquent gathering broken... Uh, diligently gathering broken plate fragments, mopping up the floor, picking up the chairs, and throwing them across the room at me. I kept dodging them, but I was getting goodness. In fact, she was so fast that I had I had a thought time keeping up with her. I had, uh, I had a tough time keeping up with her. God, I fail at English words and such. Well, now, aren't you suddenly acting all goody-goody? It's not like I want to spend time, spend a whole day here, you dork. She still 
sounded irritated. Irritated. Listen, I had to burp there. Okay, you you're fine. You made me so upset. I burped. Listen, you got to understand that you can't behave like that. At least not to such an extent. For some reason, I decided to try to give her a moral lecture. I haven't done a thing. She looks awfully happy about that. It was you who was calling me names. Also, I grabbed a bucket and mop and went to the fastest cor uh, farthest corner of the canteen. Looks like she's still angry. Looking back at the mountain of broken tableware, I finally begin to understand the scope of our catastrophe. We're lucky at least the forks and spoons are made of metal. We still have, uh, we still have something to eat with. But there's hardly any plates left. Hey! Also called to me with a, with a shout. I went over to her. I don't get it. Why do you hate me so much? What do you mean, hate you so much? Her face became serious, and that's when I really believed that it wasn't just yet another one of her tricks. Why do you think... Why... What do you think... Why do you... You think so? Why do you... You think... I think that's one too many use. Why do you think so? Yeah, there's one too many use. I have no idea. That's exactly why I'm asking you. I don't hate you. It's just that some, sometimes you behave like, well, you know, as simple, as simple as that, but still true. Like what? I have no idea. She lifted her gaze at me, boiling with curiosity. Well, for starters, what was the big idea in pouring that kaputz over me? You were asking for it. She smiled for the first time since we started cleaning. Yeah, sure. I, ha <coughs> I heaved a deep sigh. So, what did you expect from the others then? Nothing. She replied acidly. The discussion was over, so I continued cleaning up in silence. Ellipses was following me over my soldier. Is that the girl there with the hair? The librarian? And then that's Miki, or is that... Hey, look, it's, uh, from k -On. Anyways. It took us a few hours to fix up the canteen. At least, all the broken tableware was gone, chairs and tables were in their design places, and the floor looked clean. We were sitting there together with, uh, we were sitting there together, who's we then? With Ulsa next to the floor counter, breathing heavily and uh, deserving, deserving resting. You put, because of your silly trick. But... I'm not tired at all. Though the sweat was pouring down her face, told the opposite story. Oh, well, good for you. So, what are we going to do next? I don't know about you, but I'd rather go... No, not that's, that's not all. You have to... She hesitated. Help me with another little thing. Thinking of another silly prank? You bet. She was smiling broadly. I'm not your man here. I'm more than fed up with just one punishment for today. Okay, here's the deal. If you help me now, there won't be any more pranks. Sure, that was an inviting prospect, but somehow I couldn't bring myself to trust Ulsa even for a moment. Well, it wouldn't hurt to ask. So, what's your cunning plan then? We're going to steal the candy. What? I don't have a dramatic button on here, do I? Damn it, I was looking for a sound effect that had the dun dun dun. I should have expected something like this. Candy is for kids. So, oh, excuse me. Soon the chef will go out and dump the trash. Nobody else is, uh, nobody's gonna see us. Count me out. Ah, whatever. She grunted and turned away. Then I'll do it myself. And I won't allow, I couldn't even finish the sentence as Olsgar, Array jumped over the counter, ran to the cabinet, opened the door, and started rummaging through it. Rummaging. Hey, cut that. Cut that. Cut! All right, that's a wrap. I know it's... It's not like you haven't got enough problems as is with Olga. She didn't reply. You won't get away with this! <laughs> with just clean... You won't get away with just cleaning duty for something like this. Olsa closed the cabinet. She had a huge bag of candy in her hand. And you little... Put that back! Ah, that little, excuse me. She stuck out her tongue at me and dashed off through the back door. I couldn't just leave it like that. Yes, you could. You, you could very well just leave it as that. Idiot. 
Sure, that girl had quite a head start, but I still, uh, still funneled all my energy into the chase. I won't lose to her again. Uh, again, that is Gendo Akari. Stop it, you mouse. We ran through the square. We ran without a care. We ran through the music building. All throughout the lingering. I don't know. We ran through the forest trail. Not leaving a trail. Damn it. I almost caught Ulsa when she suddenly abruptly stopped. I couldn't pull up as sharply, so I crashed into her. Uh, send us sprawling. Candy rolled everywhere. She rolled down into the under the grass. Oh, that, yeah, that's cute, but no. Gotcha. I gave a victim. No, no porn music. No, stop, stop. No porn music. You stop right now. This is not appropriate. <laughs> I gave a victorious shout. Now it's, now, now, now it's not a good time for grunting. No, you didn't. Hold on. Uh, no, you didn't. There we go. Do the Z snap. She replied with a shamed tone. Ulsa was lying under me. Her face was right next to mine. I felt her erratic breath and her heart and the heat of her body. Sure, right now she was only a chell, but soon enough she'll be... <laughs> no, no. I, I'm not even trying to choose this fucking path. I want the adult. It was pretty embarrassing. <laughs> You're gonna rape me? She said, coming back to her senses. Don't! <laughs> you want me to? Uh... Anyways, it's more like a game to her. Oh, for the love of Pete. She gave me a cunning smile and snorted quietly. Or was it just my imagination? I'm not really in the mood. Ah, whatever. She kicks me in the balls. Reached up a bit and uh, bit me on the nose. I wasn't expecting that and even pulled back a little. Just for a moment of hesitation was enough for her to wrestle out and run a dozen feet away. That wasn't a dozen feet. That was actually just one step back. Watch it. You're gonna regret this later. She laughed out loud and disappeared into the woods. The candy bag was lift, uh, left lying on the ground near me. I wonder if she dropped it on purpose. It's getting near dinner time, so I need to hurry and return the candy. And preferably, very preferably, stay under the radar. Of course, I'll explain the situation. It was Ulsa who stole them. But who's going to believe me?